Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. A couple of days ago, I put out a video about an accident that I had with this little beastie here. And we got some great comments on that video. Thank you to everybody that commented and all those lovely people, all our lovely viewers. I, I was really touched actually, to be honest. I didn't expect it. I expected a lot of insults and you idiot, but all these people go, I'll get well soon, Rog. And I thought, oh my goodness, I've never felt so much love. So great, thank you very much for that. Thank you for all your good advice. Thank you for all the people who said, you know what you should have done? should have removed the battery before you messed around with it. And why didn't you mention that as your top tip? Well, the reason is I failed to communicate to you exactly what was going on when I started playing around with this saw. So this is the reason for my update on this video because I feel I can't just leave it there and just keep fending those comments off and saying to people, look, this is what happened, right? Battery's out at the moment. On these saws, you will find that when you look at this collet here that holds the blade in, it's kind of down there and you can get at it, but you've got to mess around with your fingers and get in there and do it, okay? If you've got the battery in, the collet comes out a little bit, the piston comes out and the collet is on the end there and so it's easier. Having made that come out, I should now probably take the battery out and do whatever I was going to do. Now, what was happening is that the blade wasn't going in properly. I couldn't get that blade to go in and I was twisting this thing around and I was messing around and it just wasn't going all the way in. And I thought, well, there's some obstruction in there. There's something going on there. Now, at this point, my brain failed to complete the process. Yeah, what I actually thought is, OK, so I've got to get that out there and I tried shaking it, I tried tapping it, I tried all sorts of things, see what was in there, see if I could find what was in there. And I couldn't find what was in there. In my stupidity, I had the battery in the saw and I thought that what I would do is I would hold this collet, and again, I'm doing it, but you see, this is the thing. This is why I had to make this other video because people think that this thing will spontaneously switch on without you doing anything. And the way they're designed and the fact that they've got the certificates and everything else means that they've been designed so that they won't accidentally, spontaneously switch on without you touching the trigger. Okay, you could still touch that trigger by accident, so you still need to take that battery out when you start messing around, especially putting the blade in. So very, very good tip, very good idea, and I tend to do that, I tend to unplug machines, take the battery out. What I was hoping would happen when I held the collet open, and this is where my brain just went, just give it a little, because if you're holding the collet open, shoots forward, it might shoot the obstruction out. Now this is just the stupid, stupid bit, because obviously if you're holding that collet at the same time as you fire that trigger, it's gonna take your finger lightning speed into the shoe. And that, that's what happened to me, all right? So I just needed to explain that. It wasn't that I wasn't aware of the danger. I got the first bit, take the battery out when you're doing it, but it was because I was trying to get that blooming thing to sit up there. It doesn't, it doesn't land where you want it to land all the time. So let's just take the battery out, just to make everybody happy, me happy as well. The ironic thing about this is that actually with this particular machine, all you've got to do is release that and you can take the foot out. It's a lot easier then to mess around with whatever you're doing. And if I had have accidentally shot forward there, it wouldn't have been as painful. It probably, it would not, never have been a good idea. Whatever I did, it was not going to be a good idea. But taking that foot out makes it a lot easier. A lot of people were saying, did you fix it? What was the problem? You know, because everyone wants to know. I think what had happened is that somebody who had used this saw had probably left it out in the rain or the damp or something else. So what I did, a little bit of WD down there, which I'd done before I started messing around with it, by the way. That was my first port of call, as with so many things. There aren't many things that WD can't fix, maybe a broken marriage, but a lot of other things uh, WD's pretty good at, yeah? Now, if I'd gone away and had a cup of tea because my wife had just made me a cup of tea and I said, well, I'll just do this before I come and drink the tea. If I'd actually gone and drunk the tea, left the WD-40 to do its bit. So when I went to put the blade back in, this isn't an aftermarket blade, by the way, a genuine Milwaukee blade. Uh, amazing blades, these, by the way. They're really just uh, demolition blades and all the rest of them. They really 
a cut through cast iron saw pipe with this thing so easily you wouldn't believe it it goes in perfectly now absolutely solid in there slip the shoe back on you can actually do it with the shoe with the blade in place so that, that's pretty good isn't it anyway i hope that clears that up and um thank you now just one more thing before you all go maybe some of you are still here maybe some of you have already gone but what I would really, really like to do, because we've got loads of great comments on the bottom of the first video, people telling us about their accidents. And although some of them were absolutely gory and you know, they're just hard to read, they are educational. So what I'd really, really like you to do, if you've had an accident or you've seen an accident or you know somebody has had an accident, just make a little selfie video, not upright, but across. So landscape mode, so that we can fill the screen with your lovely face. Just send us in a little selfie saying, skill builder, Roger, whatever, you know, this is what happened. And just tell us a little bit about those accidents. So what we do is we make a nice compilation video of those snippets and put it out. And I think it'll just help people and it'll be great. And if there's any really good you know, performances if we get something we really think oh my goodness that's fantastic or terrible or whatever it is we've got a few different products to send we you know we, we're going to be sending a few products out so it's a few freebies and if you do that you can drop your videos on there you can drop photographs on there put what you like on there and we'll have a look at it and if it's good we we'll use it which is great and we really want to do that if you've got any good jobs out there that you're doing and you want us to come and film you or you want to send your little videos in now there's over 400,000 of us you know it's a great community and everybody's always interested in what everybody else is doing. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching this little update and come back and see me soon.